Hello and welcome to British English TV. My name is Jazz Loyal, your English teacher and your coach. Today we are looking at a certain part of business. Now, when you get a job, depending what type of job you get, you could be working as a computer programmer, you could be working within administration, organizing all the documents and so forth, you could be working within finance, or you could be working within construction. So you're working every day really hard. You could be working uh, in a laboratory, working with chemicals, viruses and so forth. Now, we have an expression in English and it's a very unique one and it's something that you need to study and memorize, especially in big business. And it uses a single word with a color and the word is called collar. Okay, so what is a collar? Well, it's this part, this specific part. So if you are wearing a shirt with a tie, this is called the collar. Okay, now obviously I connected it with colors. So for example, you have quite a few blue collar, white collar, pink collar. But what do they mean? Well, first of all, let's look at blue color. So in my case, more or less, this is blue. This is dark blue, in fact. Uh, some would even say that it is navy. Uh, but for me, it's dark blue. So with a blue color person, the expression would be blue color. And what does blue color mean? Well, let's read the example sentence. It is. A blue-collar worker is a working-class person who performs manual labor. Blue-collar work may involve skilled or unskilled manufacturing, mining, oil field, construction, mechanical, maintenance, warehousing, firefighting, technical installation and many other types of physical work. Often something is physical being built or maintained. So this is the expression, a blue collar worker. So you could say, hey, I'm a blue collar worker. In my case, I am in part a blue collar worker because I built the studio and I do a lot of electronics as well. Well, we have another one as well, white collar, okay? So in this particular case, a white collar worker, well, what do you think they do? Well, let's read the example sentence. The white collar worker typically performs work in an office environment and may involve sitting at a computer or desk. Well, evidently, I am also a white collar worker because I spend time video editing, programming, uh, administration, a lot of many different tasks. So, so far, I am a blue and white collar worker. Well, maybe that's it. No, there's one more, in fact, pink collar, okay, a pink collar worker. And the example sentence is, a third type of worker is a service worker, pink collar, whose labor is related to customer interaction, entertainment, sales or other service oriented work. Many occupations blend blue, white and or pink service industry categorization. And that's a really good point as well. You obviously have a blue collar worker which focuses a lot on the physical work, the development of properties, construction and so forth. You have white collar workers and these individuals are working on computers, processing invoices and a variety of other administrative tasks as well as development tasks. But you also need the pink collar workers because these individuals interact with the public. So they could be selling your product, interacting with people, PR, public relations, which is really important as well. Now, with, the, with these expressions, you also have other parts which are very important. And we're going to look at another expression, which is get down to business. Now, this is really important because with these people, you have the blue, the white and the pink collar workers. And then you need to get down to business. Well, what does that mean? Let's read the example sentence. We have been talking for a long time. It is time to get down to business and find a win-win situation. So in essence, when you are getting down to business, it means that you have talked a little saying, hello, how are you? How is your day? 
then when you get down to business, you are discussing the actual product, the contract, the business aspects of why you came together in the first place. For example, hey James, um, let's talk about this new contract, okay? Hello James, how are you? How is your family? How are the kids? Fantastic. Okay, let's get down to business because I really want to sign the contract and then we can begin. Now, that's a very good expression and you need to remember that. Get down to business. But once you have got down to business, you need to get the ball rolling. The first stage is get down to business. Then you need to get the ball rolling. And the example sentence would be, we have received approval from management regarding our project. It is time to get the ball rolling. Now that's a useful one. So first, you get down to business. After you have agreed and you have found a win-win situation, because if you do not have a win-win situation, you cannot get the ball rolling. It's impossible because you have not agreed on a contract, an agreement or something of that nature. So these expressions are quite important. So if, to review very quickly, you have blue collar, white collar, pink collar, get down to business and get the ball rolling. These are small expressions within business. However, if you can memorize them and use them, it closes the gap between non-native and native English speaking people that work within business. My name is Jazz Loyal. Make sure you have a fantastic day and remember, speak what you learn. This is the motto of British English TV. Have a great day.